Hi, I'm Lisa with GCFLearnFree.org, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our site. We'll do a tour of our website, and then I'll briefly talk about how GCFLearnFree.org has been used by organizations across the country and around the world. To get started, some really quick information about GCF Learn Free. We are a free online education website with a focus on technology, reading, and math. We are supported by the Goodwill Industries of Eastern North Carolina. It's the proceeds of the stores here in Eastern North Carolina that actually makes GCF Learn Free 100% possible. Although we are located here in North Carolina, our content is used across the country and around the world. We're really proud of the fact that we've served more than 26 million people since our inception. I'd also like to take this opportunity to point out that everything we're going to talk about today is completely free. When I'm showing people different features of the site, I always get the question, is this free too? The answer is yes. Everything we're going to be talking about today is completely free to you and the people you serve. We'll review the self-paced tutorials available to you and your patrons, and we'll talk about our online class program too. If you've used GCFLearnFree.org in the past, or even if you use the site regularly, there are likely things that you aren't aware that we offer. Today, with this tour, we're going to make sure you know where to find all the different types of programs on our site. This is our homepage. From here, you can access our major program areas of technology, reading, and math. If you already know what you're looking for or have a specific question, our search feature is available on every page of our website. But if you just kind of want to browse and don't really know what you're interested in learning, our All Topics page is a great place to start. Now, obviously, you can't actually see all of the topics and tutorials on that page, but this just gives you an idea of the 125 plus tutorials we have, and we're adding more every day. Our technology program is by far our most popular, and of the technology tutorials, Computer Basics is number one. You'll see here that we have tutorials on technology basics like computers, email basics, internet basics, operating systems, and browsers. This is useful for learners who are really complete beginners when it comes to technology. Maybe they've never used a mouse and need to get comfortable with the actual hardware. Or maybe they have used a computer before but don't really know the ins and outs of the operating system. This is a great place for them to get started. This is what most of our self-paced tutorials are going to look like on our website. You can go through these tutorials at your own pace, and you can pick and choose what you want to learn and when you want to learn it. So you could start at Lesson 1 and work your way all the way through a tutorial, or if you have a quick question and just need a quick answer, you can dive right in. Now let's take a look at the layout of our self-paced tutorials. You can see here that each tile has a couple of icons, and each one gives you different pieces of information. If you click the bulleted list, it shows you what is included within that lesson so you can better decide whether or not that's the lesson you're interested in. And this video icon lets you know if there's a video associated with that lesson. People love our video tutorials, and it's a really great way to learn for people who enjoy learning visually. You can just click and watch the video right from here. Or, if you click the icon at the top of the page, you can see all of the videos that are associated with every lesson in an entire tutorial. We recognize that people learn in a variety of ways, and we try to make sure that the information and educational content we're providing responds to the ways people prefer to learn. So whether it's the written lessons, videos, interactives and games, or if it's just informational graphics, you'll see a variety of different learning modalities throughout our self-paced tutorials. One thing to mention is that all of our videos are YouTube embeds, so that's important to keep in mind if you have YouTube blocked at your organization. We have an offline site available, so if you don't have internet, if you have unreliable internet, or if YouTube is blocked where you are, feel free to contact us and we'll make sure you get the offline site. Now, one of our most popular tutorials is our typing tutorial, which we launched a little over a year ago. This was something that was highly requested by learners. It's a great thing to be able to offer beginner computer users or maybe even people who've been around computers all their lives but have never actually learned how to touch type and are still hunting and pecking. If you're working with someone who's new to technology, our tutorials like Internet 101, Internet Safety, and even Internet Safety for Kids can be very helpful. We also have technology tutorials that are a little more intermediate, focusing on things like working with iPads, iPhones, and Android devices. We also have social media tutorials in our technology section that are ideal for people who maybe want help creating a Facebook account. And more and more things are going to the cloud, 
so we have tutorials that can teach them how to use Google Documents and Google Sheets so they can still have word processing and spreadsheet functions even if they don't have access to Microsoft Office. Speaking of which, our Microsoft Office program is easily our second most popular to our technology program. You can see here that we have tutorials ranging from Microsoft Office 2000 all the way to Office 2013. Most versions will focus on Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access, but you can see in several versions that we also offer Publisher and Outlook as well. Here's an example of one of our Microsoft Office self-paced tutorials. As you can see, it looks very similar to the Computer Basics tutorial I showed you earlier, with the same layout and ability to pick and choose what you want to learn and how you want to view the content. Something to remember about our self-paced tutorials is that you never have to create an account to access the educational content. You can immediately go in and start learning. There are accounts available to you, though, if you want to track your learning history. It will let you know where you were when you last visited the site so you can pick up right where you left off. If you complete a tutorial, it'll be kept in your account, and you'll even be able to print a self-paced transcript with all your completed self-paced tutorials. The only thing on the site that requires an account is our online class program. Registration and creating an account is necessary so that you have a way to correspond with instructors and keep track of everything you're learning. Classes are free, just like everything at gcflearnfree.org, but the online class program is different from our self-paced tutorials in that it is instructor-supported. So you're actually completing and submitting assignments, and your instructors are grading them, giving you feedback, and answering your questions. We're accredited by the International Association for Continuing Education and Training, otherwise known as IASET. This accreditation is what allows us to provide the certificates of completion and CEUs through our online class program. You may have clients or patrons who are not only interested in learning Microsoft Office skills for their own benefit, but also to put those skills on a resume, so that's something to keep in mind. Our online class will give them that certificate of completion, something they can print to show an employer or put on their resumes that could enable them to improve their lives in a very tangible way. You can see here that the process for creating an account is very simple. You'll create and enter a username, email, and password. Once you've created an account and begin the registration process for an online class, you'll potentially see three different messages. You may see in red that all slots are currently full. Our online class program is very popular, so from time to time, we don't have any slots available. If you see that message, it's not a problem. You'll just need to come back at a later time. Registration opens automatically every two hours, and the best time to register for a class is typically between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. You may also see limited slots available and that the registration will open at a certain time. When you see this, we encourage you to be in front of your computer exactly when registration will open. And finally, you may see it say, limited slots available, register now. And this is your opportunity to reserve a slot in a class. You can see here that registration is very simple and straightforward, like we hope you'll find with most things at gcflearnfree.org. You'll just need to watch the orientation video, which explains the deadlines and how to submit assignments, as well as the general requirements for the class. After you've watched the video and clicked Submit, then you are enrolled and can start working your way through viewing the lessons. You can even submit your first assignment on the very first day if you want to. It's important to take note of assignment deadlines. Sometimes people get dropped because they didn't submit their assignments on time or weren't able to make corrections and submit the corrected assignment on time. And that's fine, because there's never a penalty for being dropped. We've had learners who have taken a class eight or more times in an attempt to complete it. There's never any penalty, and you can sign up for a class as many times as you want. But to make sure this stays free, some things are automated. If a learner misses a deadline, they'll be dropped automatically by our system. So we can't make exceptions or grant extensions. But our instructors are still hand-grading assignments, and if learners do get dropped, they can just start again. When learners complete classes, their certificates will be available to them as long as they have accounts with us and they can print them or download them anytime. Other tutorials available at gcflearnfree.org include tutorials within our work and career section. When talking to service providers at various organizations, we've found that one of the things they often hear from the people they serve is a need for help creating resumes or preparing for interviews, or help for people who've had the same job for the last 20 years and were recently laid off. Now they're searching online for a job. That's something completely new and different to them compared to the last time they were looking for a job. 
Everything in our work and career section is there to help them with searching for a job in the 21st century, including searching for a job online, networking, and using social media or sites like LinkedIn. Our reading program was originally created for adult literacy students, and particularly adult students who are native English speakers but who struggle with literacy. The program is heavily interactive based, with the idea here being that people learn in different ways and have different learning styles. So by using these interactives to see the word, to hear the word, to read the word, and to practice it over and over again, we're able to reach people on all different levels and in the way that best helps them learn. We've focused on 1,000 of the most commonly used English words, and we have 1,000 word videos and games like Blast Off to help with adult literacy. It's important to keep in mind that all content is created with adults in mind. We do know that people use our reading program and other tutorials to teach children, and that's fine. But we caution you to take a look through the content first, because there is some content of an adult nature, including references to alcohol and smoking. Even though our reading program was initially created for native English speakers who struggled with literacy, we found out over time that it was also being used extensively for ESL students. So we created portals with the seven most popular languages for those visiting our site to ease them into the program. Once they're in the program, it's a completely immersive experience in English. It is, however, the best practice for those who already have a good foundational understanding of English, rather than beginner English learners. Our grammar tutorial was added due to long-time requests we had received from our users. Our videographers on staff had a lot of fun using stop motion to create what we hope are entertaining and memorable videos on some of the most commonly confused words. Our everyday life program is like nothing else on our website. It's created to teach functional skills to people who struggle with everyday life situations. It's highly interactive, allowing people to practice in a safe environment with no consequences until they gain the self-confidence to use these skills in the real world. We have an ATM tutorial, for example, that lets people practice the steps of using an ATM as many times as they need. This is very popular with special needs students as well as with people with developmental disabilities. Our math program mostly focuses on basic math. It's similar to a math workbook in that you're reading about the concept, seeing slideshows and informational graphics on the concept, and then you're actually able to practice it right there on the page and put your newly learned skills into practice immediately. We also have a fun game called Good at Math, where you use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to squash robots and zombies. It's available on both the iPad and the desktop version, and it's truly appropriate for all ages. If you work with people who are native Spanish or Portuguese speakers, we have sister sites called GCF Aprende Libre and GCF Aprende Livre. They're run by a team out of Bogota, Colombia. Even though it's not a direct translation of content from GCF Learn Free, you can see that it still focuses on technology, reading, and math. It has computer basics, Microsoft Office, and a lot of what you'd see at GCF Learn Free. Now that you know all that GCFLearnFree.org has to offer, I want to make sure that you also know about our educators' resources. Our curriculum guides were created to help give you ideas about how to use our curriculum with the people you serve. We also have a teacher's story section, which provides several case studies and examples of how GCFLearnFree.org is used with a variety of different organizations. Other resources like promotional literature, lists of other free learning sites, and information about our offline site can also be found here. That about wraps it up. Thank you for your time today and for following along with this tour. I hope I shared with you some relevant information that will prove useful and helpful for the people you serve. If you ever have any questions or if you ever need anything, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for using GCFLearnFree.org.